Hi, Jonathan and Haley. I uh, hope you guys are having a good day today. That is your video lesson. Uh, four things I want to talk about. I'll go down the list, and if you have any questions or want me to look at anything, which is part of the one of the points, um, I'll be more than happy to uh, give you my two cents. So, all right. So number one is a continuation of our book two tonalization. Uh, I think last time we added on the D and the F sharp, the D being on the third string. Excuse me, and then the F sharp on the uh, second string. So going through with what we have so far, so we have um, so open, and then the new part, which was the D and the F sharp, right? D being here, and then F sharp being here. Same note, right? D, and then to add on to that, what we're going to do is we're going to shift up to the um to the uh, next notes the next note on this on the second string is going to be g on the eighth fret one two three four five six seven uh nine ten eight right here when i play that i use fingers finger one for that for that g right there on fret uh on fret nine we have the um we have the uh, e right here so we have a g and then an e And so I want you to add it on there. So practice to switching from the third and fourth. If you look right here, um, what pos the position is always determined by um, where your pointer finger is. So in this position right here, my pointer finger is based around this fifth fret right here. So when I do that exercise, one, two, three, four, five, I'm in fifth position right here. And then when I shift up, into uh into into the new notes right here the the e and the, sorry, the, the the g and the e right my first finger is based right here on the on the eighth fret so one two three four five six seven eight so i'm shifting right here even though i'm moving one fret away i still have to move my hand a total of three frets so here i'm in fret five position and then in fret eight right here. So when you shift, it's not just like a quick like, thing like this right here. You have to literally move your hand the distance of three frets here, rather than getting kind of caught with the fancy students who try to like kind of shoehorn um, position eight into position like seven or six or something like that, or a half position. Practice going here, right? And then shifting the whole hand up so the pointer finger is right there and the thumb comes along for the rise. So the thumb is, is always moving with the hand. So it's not like this right here. One more time. Third position. I'm still in third position here. Like my hand hasn't moved. And then fifth position. So first, so open position, first position, third position, uh, third position still, third, uh, sorry, fifth position, eighth position. So practice traveling that distance of three frets to get to eight. And then what we'll do next time, we'll finish it out. Right. Practice that for me. Let me change this thing. I put the wrong ones there. One and two. And first, otherwise I'll forget that I said to do that. All right, and then number two, uh, page 10, uh, continuing the prep. Um, obviously, with me, without me seeing it, I can't really say too much in like what to improve upon it. So but I think we'll kind of just build up from last and then introduce something new, The next, the, what the next step would be. And the next thing is to, to re recap from last time. Piece of paper in between fingers one and two. I and M, thumb. So fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb. Then if you look at measure five and six right here, I want you to start looking at these two measures. Um, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, I want you to start looking at these two measures and see if you can figure out from the notes where everything is. Remember the small numbers right here are what finger that you use. So the first one is, um, is ah, I'm flying. Uh, <laughs> that's that's uh, so I have my first finger here on the C open G in between, so nothing's on the first string, so E and C. If you look at the next one right there, it's, the, it's an F and a D, right? And so you're gonna put your first finger on the F. I see this a lot where people wanna put their ring finger here on the D. Use your pinky. So 
So I like to do this. Then on the C sharp and E, second finger. Back to the, uh, because when I get to here, I can pivot and use this as a guide. So that's why you want to use your pinky up there. One of the reasons um, is that when you're here and you're gonna, when you switch to, to the next measure that we're going to do next week, and then you're going to go to the ring finger will be right there. You don't have to worry about jumping it too far, right? It keeps, it keeps the line smooth. So practice getting those two measures down for me. Also hoping that you still are doing your note reading daily. Right? And I, was, I, mean, I know that you, you do note reading all the time. You've been really good about that over the summer. So I'm not worried about that at all. So make sure to keep up still working on your note reading and then get that measure five and six down. Um, we're getting close to the end of book two. So hopefully the note reading and then her, her ability to play the Suzuki pieces. It, through, by the end of book three, we want them to join together. So we want to really be working on that note reading, getting that, those, those chops up. Um, so that way uh, everything will be smooth when we get into book four. Practice those two things for me. Um, and then number three is send me a view of the Quran. Like I said, I can't make a comment until I see kind of like what's going on with it. So otherwise it'd be kind of just give me general, general advice. Send me a video of you playing that for me. And then lastly, I want you to, uh, number four is do arp drill number four. Remember that's the P-I-M together. Squeeze the strings and push through. Right, not this. That, not this, but squeeze the strings together and do your book two tonalization. That is a bit long. All right, so work on that for me. Um, and like I said, send me a review of your pieces if you like me to make specific comments or if you want me to take a look at Arp Drill number four, I don't mind at all. Work on those for me. Um, and then we'll have just one last section to learn for the Andantino. And then the A section comes back again at the end of the piece. So that should be strict, pretty straightforward. You're going to learn that part. So really just two measures left. And then, um, you know, if you want to, you can start listening to the, uh, the waltz if you want to. Um, and then we'll go from there. All right. And I'll see you guys same time next time. Bye.